Hey everybody, so you may have seen the new ARK 2 trailer from the Xbox Bethesda event. It is the second game from Studio Wildcard in the ARK series. And let me just say, um, ARK is one of my favorite games of all time. So getting a second game in this series, um, it, it's going to be something special. We'll just leave it at that. But... Seeing all the new additions they are adding is just mind-boggling. And I'm getting all of this from the Steam page, so it's all official. It's not just hearsay, um, maybe we'll get this, maybe we'll get that. No, it's like legit, it's official. I think that's pretty cool. This is going to be the second part of the series, going over every game play mechanic so everything from like crafting to um, new features they're adding for let's say fighting to um, base building I mean you name it so let's get into this Alright, so first up we have the story mode. So, starring Vin Diesel, known for his role as um, Riddick, which, I mean, he's played many other things. <clears throat> uh, Dom, you know, but uh, just saying. As legendary arc hero Santiago experiences an epoch spanning adventure as he seeks to protect his daughter Mika. Voiced by Wally Krug... I'm gonna stop there before I butcher it even more, I'm sorry. Um, she is the actor who played Moana, the Disney princess. Um, from the ghosts of the ancient past and visions of a new future. Following that up... We have the best-in-class third-person-only gameplay, advanced character traversal mechanics like mantling, free climbing, parkour, sliding, and swinging. So, uh, from what it sounds like, they're taking a pretty much giant freaking leap forward and making this game awesome, which I 100% respect. Because traversing an arc one was terrible, especially when you get stuck. Not all traversal in arc one is terrible, I should clarify. But there are those times where you get stuck in a crevice and then your only choice is to die and lose all your gear to get out. Next up we have the combat, and this sounds kind of crazy so if you are familiar with Dark Souls or anything within the realm of that franchise or even the new game Elden Ring which kind of broadens the scope of that franchise this game is dipping its toe in that so it says souls like melee combat target lock blocks dodges combo staggers special attacks emphasizing player skill based action I am definitely curious to see how this turns out, that is for sure, especially if this game is going to have a PvP mode, if that carries over to that or if it's just the campaign. Okay, here we go. Massive new alien environment. Explore a mysterious, chaotic world where native flora and fauna are being overrun by invasive primeval creatures from an extinct Earth. So I want I wonder if this is going to expand on the stories we got from the first art game like from extinction aberration and genesis all that stuff or if it's going obviously it's a completely new story but you know what I mean like if it's going to expand on it and build off of that or if it's going to be completely its own thing
Next up, this is my bread and butter right here. If anybody knows me, it's my crafting and base building stuff. So we have two topics on this right here. So construct your weapons and tools from a range of distinct modules to customize their look and functionality. Min millions of possible combinations enable you to craft your own unique gear. The specific materials you choose will further affect the appearance of your items with multiple options of resources found in unique regions of the world. Oh snap. Dude, let's go. So the base building one is coming up here soon, but this is the random events category, which is also cool. Natural and unnatural occurrences are always happening across the game world, independent of your presence. Your choice, your choices in deciding whether to an interact with these events will yield rewards or challenges. So the random encounters and random events, which makes the world more alive in any game, which makes this even more welcome in this game. So this is what Ark should have had all along. Atlas introduced it, but Ark 2 is pretty much blowing it out of the water and improving it on every aspect. It's the PvE, AI, NPC, whatever you want to call it. It's enemies and... Um, I mean, you can have friendly AI too, but this is the enemy topic. But here's what it says. Opposing PvE force. Hostile... Aratai hunt and attack you riding their own tamed creatures. What? As they seek to drive human interlopers from their world. Understandable, but what? Eh, that's cool. So this is right up my alley as well advanced template building and sharing in er, blah, blah, blah. instanced rendering and network streaming enabled much higher client and server performance for large player built structures and a longer draw distance survivors can set up and save their own preferred building templates share them and place prospective template layouts in the world to then build them out as a team that is something really cool especially for like clans or whatever you want to call yourself an arc when you're trying to build a really big base so this is how studio wildcard has improved their skill tree and progression system in arc 2 compared to uh arc survival evolved um, it says gain both experience points from gameplay and knowledge points by accomplishing key objectives and overcoming unique challenges. So I'm guessing those live events have something to do with that. To progress along a massive skill tree filled with new active abilities, perks, and passive benefits. Well, this is the end of the video. I thank you guys for making it this far, and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Um, if you like my content, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.